guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon, and this is day 17 of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. Um, the question for today is, do I do reversals in my tarot readings? So I'm going to show you an example, and yes, I do. So this is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords in a reading would typically signify somebody who's going through a lot of um, bullshit, a lot of hard work, a lot of craziness, a lot of chaos, a lot of, um, you know, backstabbing, um, just not being treated right, exhaustion. It could be like a bunch of different things, basically. But that's typically how I would read it for the upright version. Now, if this card came up in a reverse form, um, I would see this as the person is coming out of the situation rather than the person being in the situation. You see what I mean? So a reversal for me, the reversed of the Ten of Swords would tell me that this person is coming out of a really crappy situation, a really crappy experience, but they are finally going to be able to walk away from it. Another example is the Eight of um, Wands. So the Eight of Wands upright tells me, um, you know, if it was a yes, no question, yes. Or if it was um, a question pertaining to what you should be doing, what you should be focusing on, this would say get get a move on, move forward, go forward, um, look into the future type thing. Now, if this was in the reverse, this tells me that this person is either constantly looking in the past because of the direction that the wands are moving, or that this person um, is stagnant, they are not motivated, they don't have um, a plan to move forward, they're just kind of, you know, stuck in the situation. Um, I want to show you a really cool one. Because a lot of times we think that the reversals um, will mean something negative, but they don't always mean something negative. They actually, some reversals can be a positive as opposed to the negative. <laughs> um, oh, that's little Luna in the background, if you can hear her. Oh, of course, where are you? I'm looking for the hangman. He's like the perfect example. You'd think I would, you know, be prepared. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, of course, it's like one of the first cards. Okay, so here's the hangman upright. So upright, you know, this tells me this person is um, kind of moving with the flow. This person is kind of letting things go as as they're meant to go. They're not really being as proactive. Um, this person can also signify, you know, not really being able to make a decision, um, kind of feeling like their hands are tied behind their back, so to speak. Um, and then the reversal shows a kind of a, more of a positive. To me, the reversal of the hangman shows somebody who is very inspired, someone who is, um, ready for, <laughs> ready for advancement. If you could tell, like, the reversal shows it looks like this, you know, obviously he's hanging upside down, but in the reverse form, it looks like he's dancing or he's standing upright, you know, he's not even hanging. So that just goes to show what a reversal, how, how different the reversal can make them their whole reading. It could change the whole, um, feeling of the reading. So yes, to answer the question, yes, I do read with reverse reversals, especially with the tarot cards. Um, I do not read reversals with angel cards and um, some oracle decks. I do not. But tarot, yes, I do. Thanks, guys. See you guys later.